there in the recent video that i created for flipkart grid a lot of you uh, were confused about a lot of questions a lot of doubts so i got those doubts and i have somebody with me today from whom will be clarifying all those doubts she has gone through the entire process she has also got an internship at flipkart with that great stipend so we have with us astha agarwal she is currently studying at maharaja agarsi institute of technology delhi and she got this through flipkart grid so welcome uh, astha i would like to have a brief introduction so that we can have a discussion and we can ask those uh, questions from most of the students yeah so hi ash um hello everyone so thanks for having me here I am Asta. I'm currently studying in May in my final year of B Tech CSC. Um, okay, I uh I was part of the Flipkart Grid 3.0 Information Security Track, and uh, from there I got that uh, I was one of the finalists of the uh, Information Security Track, and then I got the internship at Flipkart. Recently, my flip, uh, internship has ended. Um, okay, talking about some of my uh, interest, I am highly interested in uh, the backend part, backend development part, and uh, also the security engineering part. So yeah, that's about me. Great, great, great. So like, I have got a lot of questions, and I think uh, this is something like you can answer the best as you have gone through the process. The first thing is generally uh, students miss upon a lot of opportunities, right? At your point of time, also there would have been a chance that you should have you would have missed this. So how do you get to know about this, and how did you uh, actually apply for the same? And what were what was your thought process at that time before applying? Should you participate or not? Okay, so um, I got this opportunity. Uh, I like I got a mail from Unstop uh, that. Uh, Stating some of the opportunities where Flipkart Grid was uh, one of them, I have basically uh, to not to avoid the opportunities. Uh, students should like uh, be there present in the most of the Telegram groups, like one you have. Uh, we get to know many opportunities from there, and um, also there are some WhatsApp groups too that tell us about the opportunity. Uh, majorly, the opportunities that come uh, happen on the Unstop platform that was formerly D two C. So yeah, I got it through the mail, and uh, then I was pretty excited to apply in this. Yeah. So like, what were what were the questions in your mind before applying? Like, were you confident? Were you not confident? Any questions that you had? No, like I was not very confident because uh, my sole part was of the uh, software development part. But uh, I thought like, okay, let's explore something different. So we go, uh, we go into the information security part, and I was not confident very much, like because you have that anxiety before that hackathon. Okay, so it is a big hackathon, so you need to get it done. Okay, so th there are three to four tracks, right? This year they have added one more track, but can a team uh, participate in all the tracks at the same time, or they need to choose one particular track? Okay, so uh, basically they have added a new track that was uh, Health Plus this year. Yeah. And uh, a team cannot participate. Like uh, you, if you are in same team, you cannot participate in more than one track. But yeah. if you are part of different teams, then you can participate in uh, different tracks also. Got. If you're planning to upskill yourself in technology, there are multiple different courses available in market. The the cost of these courses ranges from seventy thousand to two lakhs to three lakhs. But let me introduce to you a very affordable opportunity where you can not only get the best quality of education in different different domains, but also have the best mentors out there. People who have worked in companies like Google, Facebook, LinkedIn are teaching there, and the courses are in both Hindi as well as in English. This is known as PW Skills. PW Skills also have a PW Skills lab where you can code exactly. on different different technologies and you don't need to buy a very expensive high end laptop you get to experience internships with live projects so that you can experience what real software engineering is also there is one on one doubt support where you can clarify all your doubts related to your problems your queries and you will have job assistant as well job board where you can go and apply for different multiple opportunities and last but not least career assistant where you can get career counseling mock interviews and a lot more all this at a price of rupees 3500 on which there's a special discount running if you will apply the code arsh500 you will get direct 500 off on all of them so you will be paying only 3000 for these courses currently three courses are running one is java with system design and dsa second is full stack development and third is data science masters course so if you are planning to enroll in any of these courses the link for these courses are there in the bio make sure you do check it out and use the 
coupon code arsh500 it got it got it coming up on to uh, the number of rounds right so the first round uh, it tells about an e-commerce and tech quiz so what exactly was that how uh, did you prepare for that what were the number of questions how much was the time was it a team event or so so like some clarity on that because that's something that is very important it's the first round and entry point to flipkart grid yeah so uh, majorly this is the most important round because in this round 80 per- 82 uh, 85% teams get discarded like yeah. they won't move ahead so this is the most important round uh, there are 30 questions that are to be up- attempted in 30 minutes um, however uh, how accurately you attempt and how speedily you attempt you get the bonus marks according to them okay. um i how uh, like as you said there uh, are uh, e-commerce and tech quiz so basically um, they have some set of questions that are from the uh, stories.flipkart.com that are basically flipkart oriented questions like i remember getting a question like what is the name of your biggest sale that is big billion days oh, yeah. so not all people know that mm-hmm. so you have to go through that stories.flipkart.com to get it uh, your in your head and secondly majorly questions uh, will be from your track specific like in my track it was information security so i got questions based on cia tried based on ovas top 10 and other things on the security part they are not much difficult questions but uh, you need to have that clarity in your mind uh, while answering them you need to have the speed also because they are the uh, they have bonus points for the speed as well got it and um, like individual uh, person can also participate like one person from a team can also participate uh, in the quiz round or all the members can also participate in the quiz round they will take average of the uh, marks of the number of participants uh, that attempted the quiz so i suggest like um, it is basic uh, basically like if a person is confident uh, from the team that okay he can attempt the quiz in uh, ac- most accurate way then only one person should attempt the quiz and others should not uh, waste their energy and waste their time in attempting it and uh, maybe they get lesser marks and uh, upon averaging they will get lesser marks for sure Got so it. Um, it is better that uh, attempt the quiz whosoever is most confident in attempting it understood 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 and like apart from information security if you have any idea of a software engineering track like what kind of questions do that track have Okay, I attempted the quiz uh, last year of the software engineering track. So uh, there are questions based on sorting. Uh, they give different scenarios and ask which sorting is best suitable in those scenarios. They have questions related to time complexities. Uh, they give some code structure, generic code structure, and you have to uh, answer their time complexities. They have questions related to uh, computer science fundamentals, OOPS, DBMS, uh, and o- OS. They have that major focus in this. They uh, 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 like it is very unlikely that they will ask questions from computer networks since it is an advanced topic hmm. and uh, yeah they will ask all these got it got it got it so to have a glimpse of uh, some of the previous year questions like they were shared on the telegram group that asta was mentioning uh arsh goel yt i'll give the link in the description you can go and check out some of the previous year questions that have already been posted those are questions from information security track also as well as software engineering yeah track also for the first round right so you can have a better idea of how to prepare for the round one after the round one is done right so the major hurdle is done next round uh as it mentions it's a kind of a presentation round so what exactly happens in that so we are given uh after the first round is done uh we are given a problem statement they give us a problem statement and have to uh, and we have to uh submit our solution in a form of a ppt and a demo video okay. as well so yeah so basically uh, the tip here should be that uh, your uh, solution should be concise mm. uh, you should know your solution well it is not like that you are copying it from any other resource and you are just giving them because obviously there will be plagiarism checker and mm. uh, also like since it is a high level competition so like they they will know that definitely okay and um, other thing is that uh, your solution should definitely adhere to the problem statement given to you like mm-hmm. you should not uh, miss track from your track got it got yeah. it got it so is it is it like a student should uh, focus more on the problem statement or 
actually implementing it is it like they need to submit a code a prototype or something like that in the second round itself yeah in the second round we need to submit the prototype like it is i think it is not mandatory that we should submit it but uh, it is an add on so they have mentioned that uh, ppt submission plus prototype uh, prototype since uh, in our case we got our timeline extended for some i think two months one or two months so we get in we got enough time to build our prototype got it got it got it so after your round 2 is done right so they choose certain winners and certain teams which were in round 2 so do everyone gets a chance to interview is uh, some are some teams given a chance to give a test for flipkart then interviews or direct interview so how is the scenario like how is the selection okay so after round 2 there uh, after round 2 based on the round 2 there will be 10 to 11 teams uh hmm. for each staff that will be shortlisted okay and uh, there will be a whatsapp group where your recruiter will be there and all the participants of those teams will be there mm-hmm. so uh, your recruiter will uh, like irrespective of if you are a winner or not if, if you are a finalist like in top 10 or top 11 however they choose if mm-hmm. you are uh, one of them so the uh, recruiter will reach out to you through the whatsapp or through the mail that okay we have this this opportunity and uh, you can start filling the form in our case like there was no uh, test there was just a um, uh, google form and then we have our interview schedule got it got it got it so after uh, like when when you talk about interviews right so are these typical dsc interviews that generally companies conduct or these interviews had your discussion about your flipkart grid or something like that what was the kind of interviews that they conduct for flipkart uh, grid Okay, so uh, they actually cover both of these aspects. Aspects like it is uh, upon the interviewer, like how mm-hmm. he or she wants to take it. But uh, generally, it is uh, it involves both the aspects. Like there will be a discussion on the projects. Uh, firstly, uh, like what you build, how you build it. Like uh, this will not be a deep uh, introduction, uh, mm-hmm. like deep discussion. But there will be a, a brief in, uh, in discussion on this, and then uh, like. they can ask dsa they can ask computer science fundamentals uh, in the information security track they asked me what i know about security and everything they gave me some scenarios and mm-hmm. asked me to explain them so yeah got it got it uh, the next very important question that uh, is there is how to choose a team like there are many people who might be participating in it for the very first time or any first team event so what should a person keep in mind before forming a team or before joining a team so that he or she can ace uh, this competition okay, so team formation is uh, a very crucial part and a first step that you should take so mm-hmm. basically a team should uh, have a variety of people like there should, uh, if there are three people in team so there should not happen that uh, every, every each of them knows how to build front end but mm-hmm. no one knows how to start with back end or how to integrate back end that should not happen okay so team should have variety of people like one should be from front end part one should be from back end part and other should be from like ai ml or uh, some ui ui ux part depending upon your requirements right also uh, the team members uh, present in your team should be confident of their skills and they should be enthusiastic to perform it is very important otherwise uh, all the work will pile up on uh, one person and uh, that team could not perform much well understood understood so matlab the entire team effort is required like each and every member should yeah. have his or her contribution then only you can succeed as a team together that's very very important in any any competition yeah. such kind also a very important question from newbies right who somebody who is participating in such competition from for the very first time let's say a second year guy or a second year girl so they are like yet confused should they go ahead and participate shouldn't they go ahead and participate because they are not yet confident upon their skills they have little to zero uh, dev experience or they haven't worked in any startup or any company before they might have practiced data structural algorithms or built some few projects on their own so is it a good time for them to go and participate what do you suggest yeah so like according to me um if the opportunity has knocked your door so you should not miss it at all despite of you being under confident like um you should prepare for it use the resources uh, present to you use the resources present on the internet and just prepare for it 
because uh, there can be a scenario that okay this time you didn't get through the round 1 or round 2 but mm-hmm. if you just uh, attempt it the next time you can uh, the probability of yours getting through the rounds will increase automatically mm-hmm. so definitely like uh, people should not miss upon the opportunities that come in their way understood 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 uh let's let's wrap it up uh, with uh, the discussion on like any any mistake that you uh, found that you did uh, while the entire process was going on and you would not want others to repeat anything of that sort in their in their in your mind uh okay so yeah like uh, i believe uh, right now that our solution can be more deeper uh, mm-hmm. so that we could have won but uh, and we could have uh, explained it much better so try to have uh, mock uh, explanation rounds with your friends with your mentors with your uh, college seniors whoever you like and get their feedback so mm-hmm. that uh, you can improve upon it from time to time understood understood So it was a great discussion with you, Asta. Thank you so much for clarifying all those doubts. I hope pe- like there would have been a lot of clarity after this discussion. Even if you have any more doubts, you can ping in the comments below. I'll get back to Asta. I'll get the answers for them, and I'll share it with you in the comments below. Make sure you do check this out as well. Uh, the resources for the same are there in the link. Uh, in the description. Make sure you do check that also. Thank you, Asta, so much for sharing your experience, sharing your journey. I think it would be very, very helpful. Thank you once again. Thank you.